now let us discuss about uh, what is push down automata in short we can call it as pda pda is mainly useful in order to overcome the drawbacks of finite automata we know that uh, finite automata recognizes regular languages regular languages so likewise in order to recognize context free in order to recognize context free languages we use as push down automata so push down automata is a, is a machine just like finite automata it is mainly useful in order to accept or recognize as context free languages let us see what is the problem with finite automata finite automata has a finite amount of memory so limited amount of memory if you want to store uh, smaller languages then it is enough with finite automata but if you want to store some complex languages then it is not possible with finite automata let us take an example let we have a language called l is equal to a power n b power n such that n is greater than or equal to 1 so here number of a's n number of a's are followed by n number of b's so here the number of a's and number of b's must be equal and uh, number of b's number of a's are followed by number of b's so here uh, uh, in order to uh, by using finite automata uh, it can't recognizes this language it can't be a regular language why because here number of a's and number of b's must be equal so we should have some comparison mechanism but that comparison mechanism is not there in finite automata so this is the problem with finite automata finite automata has finite amount of memory it can store only limited piece of information if we want to store some complex languages if we want to handle some complex languages then it is not possible with finite automata the best example is this example here we need some comparison mechanism number of a's and number of b's must be equal but that comparison mechanism is not there in finite automata so if we want to handle complex languages then we have to go for context free languages and context free languages are accepted or recognized by push down automata now let us see the model for the push down automata push down automata diagram this is the model is nothing but push down automata diagram push down automata mainly contains three components the first component is input tape the second component is finite finite state control so this is nothing but finite control machine that is nothing but finite automata and uh, third component is stack third component is stack so what is the first component input tape input tape is mainly used for storing the input string here the input tape is divided into number of cells this is the first cell second cell third cell fourth cell like that input tape is divided into number of cells where each cell where each cell input tape is divided into number of cells where each cell can store uh, one symbol at a time Uh, let we have a string like this a b a a b b so a a b b let us assume that this is the string so each cell can store only one symbol at a time okay so we have a a b b okay uh, next uh, the second component is finite state control so this is nothing but finite automata finite control machine so it contains a finite set of states so all the states are uh, available here and it 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 maintains uh, two heads uh, so read head read head points to the first symbol of the input tape it points to the read head po always points to the first symbol of the input tape so first the symbol will be readed after reading that symbol and uh, it it moves the read head far in forward direction so that means next read head will points to this cell so after reading this cell then the read head will points to this cell so likewise symbol by symbol the data will be readed okay uh, so this is about finite control machine uh, here the difference is uh, in finite automata uh, we have only 
input tape as well as finite state control so depends upon the uh, input symbol uh, by applying input symbol on a state let the state is q naught let the input symbol is a by applying input symbol on a state we will go to the next state let the next state is q1 but here in addition to input tape uh, we need stack also we know what is a stack it is a data structure it is used for storing the elements here the elements are nothing but symbols it is used for storing these uh, input symbols symbols on stack we can perform two operations the first operation is push operation the second operation is pop operation so push operation pushes the symbols onto the stack pop operation pops the symbols from the stack always push operation and pop operation will be performed from top of the stack top of the stack so that's why the second head will always points to the top head top head let let, let the topmost item is available here so the finite control uh, the fi the finite state control uh, head the second head always points to this uh, stack's topmost item okay so here in addition to the in addition to the input symbol uh, we need to apply we need to apply another symbol on the stack that is stack's topmost symbol let the symbol is b so here this is the current state this a is nothing but this uh, input uh, state input symbols whereas this b this b is nothing but uh, stack's topmost symbol so here on the state in addition to the input symbol uh, we need to apply this one also this is nothing but stacks top more symbol okay here we have z naught z naught is nothing but stacks top more symbol or uh, this can also be called as start symbol so z naught means stacks top most or start symbol here stack produces mainly two states either accepted state or uh, rejected state now let us see the definition of the pda pda is defined by seven tuples the first two tuple is q second tuple is sigma third tuple is tau this is pronounced as tau next one is delta q naught z naught f so we know about q sigma q naught f and delta also so sigma is nothing but an input alphabet and uh, uh, what is the second symbol tau tau means stack alphabet tau means stack alphabet let us assume that here uh, stack alphabet contains uh, several symbols like uh, a b a b b a b a b a b so this is nothing but stack alphabet stack alphabet symbols so what are the symbols that are stored in the stack so that is specified by tau symbol uh, and uh, this is nothing but what sigma sigma is nothing but what input alphabet symbols so next one is q naught q naught is nothing but initial state just like the finite automata uh, next we have z naught z naught is nothing but starting or top symbol of the stack so here we have z naught so this z naught is called as starting symbol or top symbol of the stack here one more advantage of the stack is here the stack size is infinite unbounded we can store any number of symbols in the stack so here the stack size is what infinite so we can store any number of symbols in the stack so here the stack is not finite it is infinite the size of the stack is infinite uh, next we have f f means set of final states next one is what delta delta is a transition function which maps from q cross and what is the second one here the second one is uh, this input alphabet symbols sigma or without applying input symbol also we can uh, make the transition so sigma union within the curly braces epsilon if you take the example here let the q naught is the state a so here we have a a is nothing but sigma or we can have epsilon also epsilon means without applying any symbol without applying any input symbol also we can make them move okay so q cross sigma union within the curly braces epsilon cross cross this is nothing but tau symbol here in addition to input symbol we, we need uh, stacks topmost symbol also let the stacks topmost symbol is p so th this uh, this b is nothing but tau symbol okay implies so delta is a transition function which maps from this current state to next state so here this is this q is nothing but next state tau star means a string of symbols that are replaced in the stack tau star means a string of symbols that are replaced in the stack 
So let the stacks top row symbol is A. Now this A is replaced with AB. So that is nothing but tau star. Tau star. So we have to replace this B. Let us assume that initially we have B. So now we have to replace this B with AB. Okay. So this is about uh, the definition of the stack and the diagram or uh, model of the this is about uh, the the definition of the PDA and uh, the diagram or uh, model for the PDA.